A local daycare worker and program director are on administrative leave tonight. That's after a child was sent home with a man not on the approved list. Police say Irwin Pentland picked up the two-year-old from the St. Louis Early Childhood Development Center and left him at an abandoned home for hours. And what complicates this case even more, that child was taken the day before police found his grandfather dead in West Austin. Homicide detectives are still investigating Philip Liberty's death. KXAN's Kylie McGivern has the story. I knew him from walking up and down the street. Stephen Young lived near Phil Liberty for more than 20 years. We were all astounded. Another neighbor only called police when Liberty didn't come over and say hi, like he always did with his grandson. He was devoted to that little boy. He spent um, pretty much his entire time taking care of him. But the day before Liberty was found, a supposed friend, Erwin Pentland, picked up the two-year-old from school. According to police documents, Pentland came to pick up the child at the St. Louis Early Childhood Development Center on the 18th. He provided a copy of his driver's license, as well as a picture even with the child. But the thing is, he was not on the authorization list. According to documents, Pentland told police he's known Liberty for about seven years through Alcoholics Anonymous. Pentland confirmed he'd hid the boy at his mother's home, leaving him alone for hours on end before taking him back to daycare the next day. When Father James Misko learned about the charge Thursday, the church suspended the staff member who released the grandson, as well as the director's daycare, saying that this will not happen again. I can't go by his house without uh, missing him. At this time, no one has been charged with Phil's death. In Austin, Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. And Phil Liberty appeared to have a deep connection to that daycare. His obituary says if anyone would like to make a donation in his memory to send those donations to the St. Louis Early Child Development Center. We checked to see if the daycare had any violations with the state. And according to the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services, there were seven deficiencies cited in the last two years. Two of them were considered high risk. In January, one caregiver who was present and working with children did not have an FBI background check submitted. And in April of this year, the daycare had six employees who didn't have a renewal background check submitted in the system. Both violations were corrected.